line, you know, the 575 number, do y'all get a lot of feedback through that? We have, we, the phone has been ringing a lot. Um, we're experiencing a lot of construction and traffic delays on a few routes. Mm -hmm. That is what most of those calls have been. Uh, our TAN route has experienced a lot of traffic and, and some significant delays first part of the semester. When, when construction gets ready to do this, how, how quickly do they notify transit, like when they're fixing to shut down a road, and like who, how, who goes through that? The city sends us notices of street closures, but when it's an active construction project, it happens at a moment's notice. They try and give us as much notice as, as they can. As far as like the, the map, the app goes, the mobile app for the, the interactive map, um, do you have any kind of idea like how how well y'all got that information out there? I, I don't have any numbers on like clicks, number mm -hmm. of site visits or things like that. Chris Nixon's group at University Re Digital Design and University Relations, he may have those numbers for us. I do know that it's been in local newspapers, it's been in daily headlines a number of times. Um, so as far as the media part of it, it's gotten out there. We are working and putting up signs in our buses and our bus shelters to get it out there a little bit more. Kiosk. We all ever planning on putting like a kiosk up at the bus station? Up the, we are. Uh, we are looking into that as we speak. We had a meeting about that yesterday. Uh, right now we have a TV up there that's supposed to be playing Rib TV. Um, right now the channel gets changed from time to time, but uh, our goal is to get get the campus map on a monitor up there. Uh, hopefully, you know, in the long term, get it to where it can be interactive. Um, but in the beginning stages, our goal is to just show all the routes and uh, on the map as a whole. Uh, and then eventually work in to have that show our arrival times at Union Station. Do, uh, do y'all gather information as far as like how punctual uh, the buses are, like how, how much they, they adhere to the schedule? And, and Generally, we, we know day to day by the calls that come in, you mm -hmm. know, if we're, if we're getting complaints. Uh, like I said, our tan bus and the brown bus, the brown bus, of course, there's only one, one bus out there right now. Um, we know that there's some, some scheduling timing issues because of traffic and construction. Um, but as far as hard and fast statistics of knowing when each bus gets there at each time, uh, the GPS solution that we chose to provide our interactive campus map gives us the ability to go back historically and see when buses are at certain spaces. So would, is, the, is the comment line that people can call, is that an integral part of like um, making the transit system work better for the riders? Yeah, it, it is. Um, the, the ride line the 7433 number is, you know, a lot of times that, I mean, if people don't have access to a smartphone or access to internet, that's how they call and get information. Uh, we have printed publications out and available for everyone, but the ride line is still the base form of, of, of information dispersion.